Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. Today is October the 15th, and I thank you for stopping by. Tomorrow, uh, we will enter into a new moon. And the new moon will also um, be in Leo. We are already in Leo with that sun shining upon it. And I'm going to try to keep this really brief because I am feeling what Leo represents. Leo, um, now with both sun and moon in the sign, we are already, we are already feeling this um, build up. I began feeling it yesterday and um, not emotionally for myself. It's more of physical um, symptoms, um, side effects to create what Libra represents. Libra is um, carries the scales, and sometimes she has this blindfold on her eyes covering herself. Um, this balancing of the scales is what I have been talking about for a week or so with the two pillars of um, Jackin and Boaz which um, the two pillars, again, are about um, the Jackin and Boaz, which represents justice and mercy, which represents um, King Solomon and um, King David, which also represents the Joseph and the Mary. I have mentioned Joseph and the Mary in many of my videos. This is about um, the sun and the moon, the left and the right, the fire um, and the water, the masculine and the feminine, um, earth and heaven, um, restriction and flow, north and south, light and dark. Um, so it's being in the center. Now uh, I have expressed throughout this month already what the balancing of the scales is. I am going to kind of speak in terms of of what's taking place right now energetically. Because now we have the sun and the moon in this a balancing time. We have the sun that represents our crown. We have the moon that represents our root, um, our grounding. Um, the sun is everything about the goodness of who we are, things that are within the light already that are shining. And the moon is are things that we are not allowing to shine or we are not facing. And that's more of our emotions. Um, those things that are hidden. And of course, when we're talking about um, the crown area, this is what we have been working with lately because we're at that higher level of um, our ascension process. Many of us are. And it doesn't matter if you are not at this higher level, you can still be at this level of clearing and trying to balance those masculine and feminine energies of, of your left and right side of the brain. That doesn't mean that you, you aren't doing this. Um, just know that there is still a process. If you are early on, with your balancing, um, you're going to come right back to this all over again. The cycle always repeats itself. It doesn't stop until the clearing, the purifying, the balancing, and allowing of that divine balance to take place within us where we can create life. Um, I have already balanced the scales several times because we always go through signs um, once a month we hit every single sign it doesn't matter but then there's going to be that time where there's a a, a a lengthy period like when the sun is in Libra for example 
of of um, trying to understand something, learn about something, and then if the moon enters in that direct sign as well, it's going to be about creating more balance within what that sign represents. Um, so what I have been witnessing for myself is tons and tons of sneezing, clearing in the form of releasing what's um, within my mind. And of course it comes out sometimes in things that we don't like. Of course you could be experiencing headaches, the sneezing, um, sinuses could be swollen, your throat could be affected here, and your ears are affected, your eyes of course. Now creeping up to this point, I have been dealing with um, because of this balancing still going on, is um, a lot of um, cystic type acne, if you will, bumps. You can't even see them, but I feel them within my, my temples. The temples. Oh, wow, that just clicked for me. The two, the temples of the two pillars. Because it's the, it's, um, King Solomon's uh, temple um, and they have been here under my hairline kind of um, kind of bothersome because you know they're a little irritable um, swollen yet you can't see them others can't see them but you know I can and I feel them and um, some of them are a little bit painful and some not they're they're going away as of today which is good and I also have them um, on the undercarriage of my my hairline closer to my neck and I I don't usually get acne any longer um, I have in the past dealt with you know acne issues um, but these are our forms of purification still balancing and to have them it doesn't matter if you have them on one side mostly or even on both because one of my one side my masculine side here has a lot more than my feminine side and I know for myself which is my weakest and my strongest and which one is trying to create more balance and there's going to be an intensity kind of or you'll see a lot more um, symptoms or whatever you want to call it on one side than the other um, my ears are very itchy which means of course is affecting my throat um, drainage is intense. I began to feel feverish um, by nine o'clock and was in bed trying to go to sleep by then already. Um, I was in a great mood. Don't get me wrong. I, I felt awesome all day yesterday. I felt blessed all day yesterday. I felt grateful and I felt extreme love yesterday. But as I, my day was winding down after, you know, dinner time and things like that, the sneezing just wouldn't stop. It just wouldn't stop. And I was just draining and draining and letting go. Um, so I'm dealing with that. And this morning I wake up and it's not so bad. I'm a little stuffy. This morning my head feels um, not quite pounding, but... I feel something kind of like pulsating. It's uh, So when we are dealing with this, we're going to have this type of, you could be experiencing an inner conflict between the left and right side of your brain right now, between being logical and being more um, intuitive, between being more, I need answers, or I need to, I will go ahead and accept this because I trust. Um, and it's, again, it's about finding that, that peaceful line where whatever it is can be what it is without an effect. So you might have um, experiences that are triggering 
this balancing. And it means that you could have relationship conversations or experiences that are associated with the same thing. And um, just remember, it's about um, the scales are balancing now. We are at that real time, real time now, with both sun and moon in Libra, balancing, creating that real balancing time. Um, because the uh, the moon and the sun are a part of the yin and the yang, the left and the right. So keep in mind, it's now here in Libra, in this balancing act. So hopefully, when this moon moves out of the sun in Libra, we would have already completed this step here and purified. And don't forget that um, uh, Joseph and Mary also, this is related to our, um, not just our left and right side, but penal and pituitary. Um, and it's about the king and the queen because this is about the temple, our temple. So I just wanted to make this a very short and brief, brief uh, video about um, what's taking place. Um, and I hope it helps. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care.